Yasser Saeed's lawyers say from the very beginning he wanted to take the stand because he says he didn't kill his daughters, Amina and Sarah. But Yasser, you did not kill your daughters, did you? For sure did not. He claims he fled and hid for more than 12 years and didn't attend his daughter's funerals because of the media coverage. Yes, because of the unfair and hateful media coverage at that time. He claims on January 1st, 2008, when his daughters were killed, he took them out so they could talk about why the girls, their mother and their boyfriends, had run away the week before. I was planning to take them to dinner and have a talk over the dinner, but I felt somebody was following me, so I could, did not continue. He claims he fears someone was trying to assassinate him, so he drove around looking for help, ultimately parking his cab near a bus station and running into a wooded area, leaving his girls and his gun behind. I told them, the car is yours, you do whatever you want. Since they know how to drive, I left the car for them. He testified he never called 911 or anyone to help him. He says instead he went to a Waffle House where he wandered around. So you just stayed at the Waffle House until 2020? He didn't answer questions about where he had been between the time the girls were found at the Omni Hotel in Irving and his capture at this home in Justin, 30 miles from the crime scene. He claims he loved his daughters and wouldn't harm them. I have hundreds of tapes showing how much I loved my daughters. But those close to the girls have told WFA he stalked his daughters, recording their every move, and at times... Nice <laughs> filming them inappropriately. Saeed testified his ex-wife was lying when she claims he was abusive and controlling and says the laws in America protect women more than men and feels he was treated unfairly. But prosecutors say he murdered his daughters because he couldn't control who they were dating. In Dallas, I'm Rebecca. We will have complete coverage of the Saeed trial both on air and online. You can read more about the case through the years on WFAA.com.